Hi, this is Lian Eng from Go Kids, where we empower you, your kids to learn through fun, interactive, and educational activities. Today's segment is about why we should get our kids into the kitchen and the benefits. What do they benefit from learning how to cook? There are so many reasons why our kids should learn how to cook, but today I'm going to just go through with you five reasons why the kids would benefit greatly if they know how to cook. Number one, Cooking requires a lot of math skills. For example, they need to learn how to measure. So things like uh, volume, shape, weight, timing, and estimates. Those are the five basic um, elements that is very, very useful uh, if they understand and it is very empowering for the math skills. So let's talk about volume. Things like measurement of liquid is milk, um, water, um, milk, how many liters? So they're learning the, the measurement unit of liters, milliliters. If the recipe requires them to do uh, chop up cubes uh, for your carrots, how do I go, I go about and make the carrots look like a cube? What about weight? Those are the measurements about flour. How many grams of flour do they need? And also the timing. Let's just say, for example, in the recipe they said 80 minutes. So what does that equate to? The child has to understand that 80 minutes is equivalent to an hour and 20 minutes because an hour is 60 minutes. So the conversion from 80 minutes to an hour and 20 minutes is a skill that they learn too. So an estimate, when they say a pinch of salt, for example, or a pinch of pepper, what does that mean? Or just a pinch of uh, the herbs that requires onto the dish. So they have to estimate about um, what does pinch means. Second example would be to learn the different shades uh, through the five senses. These are very crucial as um, you know we need to we need to taste, smell, hear, see, and um, touch. Those are the five senses that we require to do to be pretty functional in the kitchen. So they touch. They need to feel. Um, how does a flour feel like uh, when you knead the dough? It, it, how does the knead the dough feel like? Um, what about the smell? You know, they need to know um, the, dis the different types of herbs. They need to know the different types of spices that's needed. Or whether the dish is already burnt or just cooked. Or whether the raw ingredients has gone bad. What about sight? Sight is um, to look at the veggie. Um, is it fresh? You know, the different colors of uh, capsicum, for example, the red and the green, or if the recipe requires a raw papaya. So what, the, what do you have to look for? Should I go for the orange papaya or the green papaya? So these are side. Taste. Taste is pretty important for both the customer and the chef in a restaurant. So the taste, whether the dish has sufficient salt uh, sugar, um, vinegar, if need to. So that's very crucial uh, part of the five senses. And hearing the preparation stage, whether it's pounding, it's chopping, it's blending, those are the sounds um, of what's happening in the kitchen. And the third example is learning how to read the instruction. Learning how to read the instruction requires two skills. One is a good language skills. You must be able to understand what the uh, instructions is telling us, um, step by step to follow. And one of the most important thing that the child would ultimately um, learn from this is by following instruction, I firmly believe is one of the, the important aspects of a child development and a discipline. Following instructions sometimes can be very helpful for them to achieve a certain goal. So number four is knowing the name or the country of the dish, where the dish originates. So for example, if it's a dish from Thailand, so they actually know that this dish is a Thai food. By doing that, they gives them a, a good knowledge of the wide variety of recipes and food out there.
and also not only the cooked food but the raw ingredients where do the spices come from so not only they learn about the origination of where those food uh, food comes from they learn another aspect of geography where is this country now the name of the country and where they are located in which part of the world number five is encourage your child to be as creative as possible cooking is a very creative process it, requ it requires a lot of senses going on um, by one look you get all the ingredients and what am I going to do with these ingredients so for a child to be able to use the ingredients and come up with various types of dishes with the same ingredients it empowers them to have the self-belief that they can achieve anything and it, this is a, a great sense of um, self-confidence so parents I do encourage you to get your kids into the kitchen and start cooking and empower them with all those skills and more so I hope you enjoy this week's segment and I'll talk to you next week